The bandwidth is the number of bits that can be carried by a connection in one second. So the speed of data depends on the bandwidth of the connection. Higher the bandwidth, more data can be transferred, so data transfer will be faster. This would mean that a higher bandwidth can be used for gaming or video streaming. When it comes to streaming video, at first a portion of the video is stored in the buffer temporarily. While the portion that is stored in the buffer is playing, some more of the video will be stored and so on until the video is done. If the buffer gets empty, the video will pause till more can be downloaded. The bandwidth is not the only thing that the speed of data transfer depends on. It also depends on latency, which is the delay in time it takes to send data between devices. We can check the latency by pinging a domain. Here's how you do it. If the latency is high, the events will lag and will not be responsive. If this is happening for a live event, then there will be a delay between real time and playback. Now let's take a look at some factors that affect speed and volume of data transfer. First is transfer method. Wireless methods have to work on a limited number of frequencies. But wire, that is copper cables, can carry more frequencies than wireless methods. So, cabled methods have more bandwidth than wireless methods. Interference Other electromagnetic signals could disrupt or interfere with the wired and wireless signals. Cabled connections can sometimes act as shields from interference by having the wires wrapped in a thin layer of metal. Blockages Walls and furnitures reduce the strength of wireless signals. This reduces the available bandwidth. Distance The strength of a wired or wireless signal is reduced as the distance that it has to travel increases. Well, that's all for today. If you preferred it instead of a whack in the face with your textbook, then like and consider subscribing.